Well, good morning, sunshine. Day four. Yeah. RV Unplugged season two. What do we expect? Like day eight. Yeah, it does. It feels <laughs> like we've been here for way, way longer. I mean, the day one challenges. I mean, yesterday I was even struggling to remember what challenges we did on day one. Yeah. There's just been so much going on. Yeah. And uh, no boat off last night. Nope. So everybody's still intact. And we go into day four. We will not be intact today. No, I, there's going to be a double elimination tonight. Yeah. And so I don't know what that's going to look like. Well, I don't know that. We're assuming. Sure. I'm speculating. Yeah. Somebody's at least going home, but probably more than one's going home. Depending yeah. on how the gameplay happens today, how yeah. the team challenges happen today, how the, the medallions are used today, mm -hmm. the tokens, it could be... It could be really squirrely. Could shake a lot of things up. Could be really squirrely today. Yeah. We could be hitching up <laughs> we and could rolling be. out of here today. Yeah. So Anything's I don't think possible. anybody is safe today. The only way to be safe is to win everything. Mm -hmm. That's the only way. Yeah. Well, it's impossible. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> we have not found a token yet. No. Nope. Nor have we won a token yet. No. Our our the wag as wag team as an individual team. Um, and you know, I got. I feel like I need to really step it up today, if I can. Yeah. Not for not for a lack of trying, <laughs> but I just haven't been doing that well. Yeah. I always envision myself like if I ever get on a reality show, I'm gonna crush that shit. <laughs> but now I'm like, I've done nothing to contribute to the team. <laughs> we were last in the key challenge. Um, you backed it up really well. I couldn't wakeboard. Yeah, I got like taken out of the axis before I could even do it. I kicked my shoe off and didn't hit the target. So I really haven't done much. But uh, I'm going to have... And I would love to tell you that it's strategy. And I'm trying to look weak. But it's not. No. <laughs> I'm actually trying. And not doing well. <clears throat> which is not typical of me. No. I normally am like a jack of all trades. and pretty good at everything. Not really great at anything. But pretty good at almost everything. And I've really... I don't know, just these challenges just have not played to my strong suits yet. No. Well, the kicking thing would have, but the ball didn't react yes. like a normal ball, no. so. I got to kick the ball after the fact, and I would have never hit the thing, because I hit it a couple times and didn't hit the thing, so. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> so, if it makes you feel any better. Good to know we would have lost anyway. I wouldn't have made it either, yeah. Yeah, so I have no idea what's in store for us today. Mm -hmm. If we get a break during lunch, we will come back on and give you like a midday update. If we're off site, we won't be able to do that again. But either way, end of the day, we'll be back with you to recap all the craziness. I got to participate today. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, that's better than yesterday at this time. That's true. So we, got, we actually got a lunch break today, which was nice. Yeah. So we did the first challenge, which is an individual challenge this morning, which was the scavenger hunt. Uh-huh. And so you go around Camp Margaritaville looking for stuff and take a picture with yep. whatever the clue they had and then you got to bring it all to find Todd at the end show him all the stuff and then the first one there wins and yeah. then it was also the coaches challenge was intertwined in that too so they had their own personal yeah. scavenger hunt and the first one to get through there so we had one of our teammates was the one was the winner won the scavenger hunt so yeah. Joe and Rachel won the scavenger hunt yeah. and Stacy won the coaches challenge okay. so we'll get some tequila tonight the so that'll be nice party tonight the only thing we're not gonna be partying about tonight is you know Todd already announced that there's gonna be a double elimination tonight and one team from each, each team, team. One couple from each team. One small team from each big team. Is going to go home tonight. Yeah. So, <laughs> well, let's talk about the, the race first. We had okay. some technical difficulties with the race. It, didn't, uh, it had its faults. We were supposed to, inside the, the scavenger hunt app on the Margaritaville app, you were supposed to actually take the picture in the, the app, app and then show them that at the end. Well, the app kept crashing on us. On a lot of people. And so yeah. we took several pictures three, four, five times. <laughs> And then going back, we'd, going and it, back. it would uh, get a bug. We get this error message that said there was a bug with the app, and it would restart the app. And when it restarted the app, it would clear all of our photos out. So we would yeah. have basically had to start the whole race over again. And that happened to several people. And I guess it didn't happen to Joe and Rachel. So no, they they got lucky. They, they got lucky, so they get, yeah. they got there first, um, which is cool. I'm glad that they got the immunity. And I don't I don't even know if it's immunity. They get a chance to go into the Alliance Key Room. They, so. Yeah, and I don't like to run. Yeah. And I had to run more than I wanted to run. Well, I mean, after the fourth, fifth time, we were like, okay, let's just go and try more. to find 
uh, there was a bobblehead of Todd out there somewhere in the park that if you find it, you get a future, future advantage. advantage. They didn't say what it was. Yeah. Um, so we're like, well, let's just go try to find the bobblehead because obviously this is not working. And yeah. then we... We ended up starting taking pictures with our phone. With our even phone. though that was, they, we were told originally, you would, photos from your phone would not be accepted, but we're like, well, at this point, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, so we'll we, just try to take them and see what they say. And so after all that, after all the technical difficulties, and then just going to look for the bobblehead, and then switching back to change your plan to just take it on our camera, we still got all but one. All but one. I think if we had started that tactic at first, we might have been able to we get that We would have had a better first. shot, at yeah. least. Yeah. So I wish we would have tried that first. Yeah. Yeah. So let's go back to Todd's message this morning that one couple from each team is going to be eliminated so that takes me back to yesterday's challenge and he said this morning he said that they originally planned to spread these scrolls over the entire season it was designed to cover the season but they front loaded front loaded them all up so that just leads me to believe that there was there no been a, there was, in, initially there was no intent to use a scroll last night yeah there was going to be an elimination and the night. production crew decided I to that. use the scroll to save the blue team. That's what I, that's just what I believe. I could be wrong. I 100% could be wrong. And I, so I'm not saying that that is the gospel. No, we're basing off our emotions. It's, it's, it's my belief. And yeah. you know, when you're in competition like this, you get emotional, yeah. you get invested. There's $25,000 on the line. You don't want to be the first one out. Yeah. So yeah, maybe there is a little bit of conspiracy theory in there. I don't know, but that's just my initial, just us. My, my thought. Take it or leave it. <laughs> so we're going to do a team challenge this afternoon. And I don't know what that was, is going to be, or, yeah. or, and I don't even really know the purpose of it. Well, because if one team, one couple from each team's going home. Well, if we've learned anything why in three days, compete? it's anything can change. So yeah. maybe it's not a double elimination one from each team. It could end up switching to where. Yeah, there are so many tokens out there. Need to so eliminate. many advantages or potential immunities that. Uh, could change everything. Everything could be crazy tonight. So we have yeah. no idea what's going to go on. We're going to do our best at the team challenge this yes. afternoon. We're going to do our best to not get eliminated. And after it all shakes out at the end of the day, we'll come back and we'll talk about it a little bit more. That's right. And hopefully we won't be hitching up and rolling out of here. <laughs> Coming out? Come on. Leaving? Come on. <laughs> we just got to the door and opened it up from filming that clip that you just saw. And Scott was waiting at the door. He's ready to go out and get some sun. You got to get your leash on, sir. You gotta put your leash. Are you just coming? Okay, come on. Here we go. Come on. Come down. There you go. Good job. Come on, buddy. <laughs> go get mommy. Come on, get her. Tell her you want to go take a walk. Are we taking a walk? Sir? I'm unplugged, mom. Here I go. <laughs> I'm unplugged. <laughs> I want to do unplugged. Let me do a challenge. Yeah. I could win. <laughs> <laughs> you would do great in the challenges, sir. Oh, okay. <laughs> Where you head? No, 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 no. Don't eat that. What a day, man. This is a long, long day again. Day four in the books. Oh, first elimination. Yeah, you've already seen it, but uh, it was a crazy day. We already talked about the scavenger hunt. Yeah. And then we went off to the hamster wheel on the water. That was ridiculous. Yeah. Nobody was going to do it. The logistics of it was a little, a little hokey. Yeah. The pool noodle that was hooked to that rope was tight. So when you go, it just turns the wheel. Everybody had the same effect. It didn't matter yeah. which side of the wheel you were on. Right. Everybody because I was, I was one of the last ones to go. I was second to last to go. So I got to watch everybody, everybody do it. Yeah. And everybody, no matter where they started, I was watching where they were starting and where they were going in the wheel. And it didn't matter what they did. No. So I was like trying to, I was, I was bouncing around there like a damn fish. Yeah. You, you looked ridiculous. What, what I was trying to do was, I was trying to move that noodle down the rope. <laughs> Give it a good yank. Yeah. Cause while I was turned sideways and I was like, if I hit this thing hard enough, <laughs> it'll move the new noodle. Or maybe, maybe if you get, and I, cause I saw uh, Talmadge, he got pretty far. He did get far. And I figured if you got past a certain point of that noodle on the rope, maybe it would loosen up a little bit. Cause not as many people have been down to that side. side yeah. And it was more worn on that top, top side. So I, if I could just get it shoved down the line a little bit and then get that thing straightened out. But I was out of gas, man. Yeah. And uh, as you can see, 
as you've seen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I didn't do so well afterwards, but yeah. um, here's the thing. So we've been running so around. So dramatic. I know, right? God. We've been running around the the resort all day. Yes. Scavenger hunt. It was only like 70 degrees today, less than that even. 68, yeah. But the sun was just beating on you. Yes, we're, we're burnt. And you're in layers, because it's cold in the morning, so then you have stuff. So you're running around doing that all yeah. day. And then you go into this hamster wheel. It's like got the greenhouse effect in mm -hmm. there. It's hot in there. And it had probably been sitting there for a while before we even got there. Yeah, and there's, heat. there's no ventilation in this thing. Yeah, everybody said they couldn't breathe you in there. You can't breathe in there, and you're given everything you got. So you take off, you know, full steam, and now you know, all your blood leaves your major organs to your extremities because your extremities are trying to do all the work. Mm -hmm. And then you do that for, you know, almost three minutes. Yeah. And then they pull you back. Why is they pulling you back and you were laying there? Well, now all your blood's rushing back to your organs, your brain and your heart and your lungs and all the stuff that you need to live. Yeah. And all that transition of that blood from extremities rushing to your organs. Uh, so even when I came out, I stood there for a second. When they were getting ready to do the interview, I stood there for a second. I had to grab Ryan's hand to keep me from falling down because it's just like, oh man, I just yeah. got foggy for a second. I thought I was okay. Until we started shooting the end scene where Todd's like, all right. Saying goodbye. Saying goodbye. Go back and we'll do the eliminations. And I couldn't even stand there yeah. for the shot. Yeah. I was like, oh, I need to take a knee. So I'm going to go down. <laughs> and I knew that I knew that I just needed to, to lay down. For and a let little bit. the dark go and yeah. come back. Yeah. Get a drink. Do let everything equalize back. Because I've, I've been in this situation before. Yeah. And, but they don't know me. No, they don't. And they want to take every precaution. They don't want anybody to get hurt, so they call them EMS. Okay. And as, they're like, I could hear them talking. I heard the call to EMS, and it was, people probably thought I was terrible for laughing at moments, but I'm like, because EMS is like, is he conscious? Is he having chest pains? Has he yeah. had a history of ever having heart attacks? I'm like, oh my God, he's not having a heart attack. No. And as soon as I heard they were calling EMS, I was like, there's no need to call EMS no. because I'm just going to refuse to transport anyway. I'm not going. Yeah. I'm fine. It'll, and I was. It'll pass. I was fine. Yeah. A couple minutes later, I was fine. I just needed a drink. Needed everything equalized. Needed to cool down a little yeah. bit. And I got back up and I was fine. I came back. So yeah. I probably I probably delayed production a little bit. I'm probably the reason we're out so, so late, late doing the It was an additional probably half an hour or so. Yeah. So then we went to uh, the elimination vote and... Oh man, it's a lot more intense than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, yeah, especially like I was holding my breath on on blue team's elimination. Yeah. I was just as stressed out yeah. for them as I was for ourselves. And you know, we we started an alliance with Girl Camper early. Yes. And we were gonna we were gonna play that out. Yes, we were. We were gonna play that out until at least the, the last three on our team. Yeah. And we kind of shoot it out from there. But they came out of the Alliance key room because they had they had the opportunity to go try to open a chest yeah. and, and maybe get a, a reward or a yeah. perk. And when they came out, they said they didn't get okay. anything. And but the story didn't match. Yeah, and that could just have been. And I think it was a communication an, issue. An or maybe error. she was confused because when I was talking to Lisa, she said we got the right key. Yeah, she, yeah. But the wrong box. And it was Mary who said the other. Yeah. So I was like, somebody stumbled over their words. So I, I in my mind, I was like, hey, they didn't get their lie right. Yeah. Before they came and talked to us. Yeah. So I was 100% convinced. That they got some sort of immunity. That they had some sort of a deal. And so we caught that. Others caught that. Yeah, other people said They got something. talking about it. And everybody, everybody was in kind of a consensus. I think they have immunity. Yeah. So... So let's force let's them to use it. Let's force tonight. them to use it. So then we're not in even danger. The, even the playing field. Yeah. Every nobody has any any advantages. Yeah. So I was fully expecting to vote for them and them to go. I have immunity. Yeah, exactly. And I'm not going home. Yeah. Well, that's just what I heard. That's that was the interpretation. That yeah, I that's what we interpreted sitting with them. And then <clears throat> when somebody else heard them off to the side talking, she 
her translation of it was the same as ours. Yeah, so it was it was a consensus of several, so that's what several made us more different confident. people had different yeah. perspectives of uh, I think they have it because of this. I yeah. think they have it because of this. Well, I'm like, well, all of us can't be wrong. Apparently we can. We were, though. <laughs> and then I was blown away even more by the blue team's decision. Um, but yeah, it was a it was a long brutal day. Yeah. And uh, and yeah. I think more brutal days are still ahead. But at least we're still around. <laughs> we're still in it. So you'll still get ahead. at least another <laughs> rundown tomorrow. It might be us telling you that we're going to the house and it we'll see you be. next time. I don't know. So I think um, it's going to definitely be interesting. Yeah. I'm not built for this kind of stuff. I don't think I am either. The the mental aspect of it, thinking of every little av- yeah. possible avenue and scenarios, scenarios, and second guessing if people are being honest with you or not. Yeah. It's like too much, and you're like, oh, I so not only explode. are you physically exhausted, you are mentally, mentally exhausted. exhausted. And so it just we're only four days in, and <laughs> I am wore out, man. Yeah, yeah. and. Uh, <clears throat> Freakishly, I'm wanting more. <laughs> I, I mean, it's just a, it's a, my competitive nature. Yeah. I want to stay in the game. Yeah, I want to win. I, I get it. You know. <laughs> yeah. But if we get voted off, I will welcome a long hot shower. <laughs> yeah. And a a pizza ordered or a Uber yes. eats coming to bring me some food yes. or something, man. I Heck, I am looking forward yeah. to that. But yeah. I definitely want to. At least stay in as long as we can. can. Yeah. Yeah. So keep it here. Hit the subscribe button. Uh, We'll be back next week to talk about what happens tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And uh, (laughs) it's going to be fun. (laughs) Uh, Stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor Fallen Hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans while we're out on the road, everything Mm -hmm. you need to know is right down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching. We're going to bed. See you next time. (laughs) Bye. Bye.